<sighs> okay. I do officially not like runner eight. She's fucking. That girl is gonna be the death of me. I don't like it at all. Um, we were out running. It was a distraction. It was mission three, I guess you could say. And she seemed like a nice girl, you know. I got partnered up with uh, her from Runner 7, and uh, we were just running and we were distracting zombies away from the base. You know, the typical. <sighs> Excuse me, better lightning here. The typical, usual, you know. Zombie distract. Whatever, we distracted zombies. I want to just heads up that my legs are dead. They were dead when I started running today, and they're dead now. More dead. It's wow. But anyhow, I. Uh, Took a friend with me, uh, Elliot, and he is another runner, I guess you could say. He didn't really want to like stay in the camp. I'm not sure why, but he wanted to come with me and, you know, kind of bonded with the guy, I guess. I don't know. His name is Elliot, and he's running. He helped me, pipped me, you know, when I when it was getting rough, so. But anyhow, we're running, and... To begin with, I think that she will turn a zombie on me. And that's the first reason why I do not want to run with her, is she's gonna fucking bite my ass off when she turns. And she will turn, because she's coughing like hell. And even the my radio friend said that, uh, you know, starts with a cough, blah blah blah, he did some ramble there. Um, but you know, fine, I was like, whatever, you know, it, it might just be a cold, but I'm, I'm on my toes around her. And I'm in more on my toes because she's fucking threatening to kill me, basically. It's, you know, I can understand that some people are suspicious of me coming in from the helicopter crash and all that. No one knows me and can have a picture to reference to or anything like that. So I can understand why people are, like, nervous and can take time to, like, accept me being here. She's fucking psychotic. Like, she... <laughs> My god, she said, um, what she said, uh, we, we just kept running and she, like, said to me, like, you know, we don't know, she, straight out, she wasn't even smooth about it, like, we don't know if you are the guy from the helicopter with the supplies. You got the same clothes as him, but, you know, you could basically kill them. For all we know, you could be the one with the rocket launcher. And, like, directly after this, very threatfully, mind you, she said, like, uh, she shot a zombie, and um, then she said, like, duck, we wouldn't want to hit you. Like, or we wouldn't want to misfire or something like that. I do not want to run with her, God, but, you know, when we got back, you know, she was typical, oh, everything's just fine, you know, me and Runner 5 are gonna run a hell of a lot more, you know, yeah, we're a team, like, fuck you, bitch. I wanna have a gun on me. I want to have a gun when I'm out running. Not for the zombies, but for her. But what can I do? My hands are fucking tied. I'm new here. I can't do shit. Like, what, what, what am I going to do? Like, hey, can I get a gun, you know? And of course they'll ask for what, because the guns are needed in the base to protect the zombies, and I'm a runner, so I don't need a gun per se. But, you know, hey, I need a gun. They would say, like, what would you have them for? Oh, I won't for safety, because I think number 8 is gonna kill me. Runner 8 is gonna kill me. <laughs> that don't look very well on, you know, other people's eyes. I'm the new guy, I'm the one they don't trust, per se. But she's flipped, I mean... There is suspicious, and then there is paranoid. And she is so far along the paranoid that I want to have. I want to protect myself. I want to have something to shoot her with, basically. Um, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, taking another man, man's life, woman, whatever is is not fun. I mean, it's not easy. But you know, this is about survival, and this is really about what the zombie apocalypse is about. The zombies aren't a real threat. It's the people. But my hands are tied. I can't do anything. Stop her. And, you know, I, I was kind of pumped up. You know, from 
adrenaline from basically being prepared to get a shot in the back. And I didn't want to spend any time with this woman whatsoever. So I told them that, you know, hey guys, I'm, I'll run on a supply run for you, you know, pretty much half an hour after I got back. And, you know, when you do runs, and supply runs specifically, they don't ask, you know. They just, oh, we, good, we need more stuff, whatever it is. Um, and Elliot came with me again on this supply run. And um, that felt a bit better when I didn't have her with me. Still had um, our friend in the common link though. And uh, <laughs> I hate to fall back on that, but Eugene and the other radio guy, you are gay. Gay, 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 gay. That's totally okay, but just come out with it. Just propose to each other, you know. Just get it over with. <laughs> but yeah, I... I will sleep with a knife under my pillow. <laughs>